I'm back, baby. Well, come on. You gonna do me like that? After all we've been through? You expect me to welcome you back with open arms? After what you did and then just left? Come on. That was the old me. I changed. I'm all about resetting, rebuilding, starting over. Come on. I don't even look like much changed anyway since I've been gone. You still single? I mean, I, I'm talking to someone and I really still like depressed? her. depressed? Yeah, but depression didn't just go See, away. Nothing important in your life changed? care of one another. My name is Max Aaron James, using my college degree in military experience to create videos that have nothing to do with either one. We are a quarter of the way through 2021. It does not feel like we're just breathing through it, but it does not feel slow either. It, it kind of, from my perspective, I see a lot of people trying to reset, um, trying to figure out what is considered normal now compared to before 2020 and other people just waiting to see what's really going to happen when we actually get to the new normal. Obviously not many of us have actually moved on from it and many of us still feel like everything is at a standstill since summer 2020. Maybe I'm not explaining it right, but even now I'm still thinking of what am I going to do and what am I going to enjoy that I miss doing once the world opens up again. Oh, and I got my second shot yesterday. It hurts, sore. Uh, my body was very tired and had muscle aches throughout the entire day after I got the shot that morning. I still have a headache, and I don't know if that's from the shot or I'm dehydrated or something. Still rocking the mask, still keeping my distance from people, which I've been wanting to do since I've been five. My goodness, it's really been a year since all this started. Looking back, that's crazy. When the world first shut down, uh, I didn't have to show up for work for about 10 days. Oh, it was almost two weeks, not exactly. And most of the time was spent trying to be as productive as I could. Every day, every moment from when I woke up to when I went to sleep, I thought, I'm gonna take advantage of this and try to be as productive as possible. Schoolwork, writing, got myself into like photography again, started writing more on stories, focusing on like stories I was working on. And, started getting into meditation more, started trying to be as productive as I could, avoiding watching any videos or watching any shows. But then after some time, I thought, why, why am I doing this? Everyone else is just chilling now, enjoying this time off, why, why can't I? I? So I spent that time to relax. I, I became vegetarian. I know it's still, I still have some issues with, some, with, with you guys, with the vegetarian and vegan community. Us trying to push and enforce that onto people for whatever reason that we're doing it, I I get annoyed from it because it, it just shows our privilege to be able to make that decision of what we can choose to eat. Of the side of we have that privilege to that we can decide not to eat meat and still be able to live a healthy lifestyle and have what we have. Anyway, let's keep going. A lot happened last year, obviously we all know this, which by the way, Black Lives Matter marches have been going on for over seven years, yeah, every year in case your auntie decided to just discover them last year. Currently, if you do not know, I serve in the United States Air Force and I've served over six years. Last year, there were a lot of questionnaires and surveys across the branch and probably across the military in regards to racial disparity, discrimination, um, having to do with race and has anyone experienced it or seen other people experience it within our environment while on duty. There have been discussions and meetings, our leadership brought, came down and had us all talk about it and wanted us people to share their experiences on it. In a recent discussion, 
I brought up that in order to change the military and how people are in the military, we have to change society first. We are just normal people before we sign, you know, that contract. We are expected not only to be role models and represent the military, but we also represent our country as well, especially when we're in another country. People grow up in the real world. I grew up in the real world, we all did. And in the real world, if our upbringing involves learning about hate, and bias that will be brought into the military. Still, my direct leadership fortunately ensured that the social environment didn't have any of those things, that I didn't have to face that and deal with that. They definitely listened when people shared their experiences and made sure that, you know, the people that shouldn't be talking actually shut up. I really appreciate, I really appreciate these conversations because it definitely gets more people involved. Over time, I see that people can Feel that it's becoming redundant but i noticed that more people are speaking up about ideas that they have even questions that they have one person um, said had asked do we change the military or do we change the person and that goes back to we have to change society first before the military but as far as the person if a person doesn't want to change they're not going to change right we can't force someone to change if they're not willing to eventually they get weaved out I was told recently that I'm the reason people are sensitive and offended so easily. So that person obviously was in my mind when we were having these discussions. And I brought up that these discussions maybe should be had more often because people like that, that get tired of these talks and don't want to discuss what other people are dealing with unless they're part of that community they eventually will decide, hey, I don't want to be a part of this military, so let me mosey on out. And those people get weaved out. And then the social environment that allows people to feel comfortable, safe, and secure is developed over time. Progress is slow, I understand that. But I think that that helps, and I think these discussions should be had more, and I appreciate that leadership is putting in effort to have these discussions more often. It is all love and respect for me, at least. I do not expect you to fully, to really understand me at all times as a black person. I do not expect you to understand me as a Mexican. I do not expect you to understand me as a 5'9 introvert who, but for many people, they learned about upbringings and their environment and how they were raised that had issues that were very problematic when approaching or talking with other people that did not necessarily look like them and the more you learn about yourself and as it's brought up and you realize things about yourself and about society and about your environment they're pretty hard to ignore there was no planned focus for this video i kind of just wanted to share some ideas and thoughts that were in my head for the 10 of you that watch my videos i have such an issue with people that are resistant to change you are allowed to change if you want. You are allowed to have a different opinion than you did yesterday. Your beliefs, your opinions, your ideals, your values, your perspectives are allowed to change. And I think a lot of people are afraid to change that because of what may change around them. Maybe certain friendships, their relationships, their relationships with their family. The effort needed to change also deters a lot of people. And I think some people don't want to be told you changed. It seems, it's almost seen as like a criticism to be told that you've changed, but why would anyone want to stay the same person they were a year ago? Sometimes it's much easier not to change, right? Because there's no effort need to be put in. There are moments of need to be in an uncomfortable position because you realize things about yourself that you maybe didn't want to admit to or do not want to put attention towards. Other people do not know how to change. Some people do not know the, the source or the root of certain behaviors and because of that they choose not to change. Change is not always easy but you can change. I believe in you. Even with all these people that I try to avoid because of their behaviors, I know that there are many people full of love, care, peace, and happiness. And because of those people, I have not lost faith in humanity. I am hoping you humans do not disappoint. I know things will get better. 
take care of one another, check up on one another, and make sure you check up on yourself. Until next time, we out.